Now that we've logged in and permanently saved our IP address, we're gonna configure the FLWLAN as an access point. To do this, the first step is in the Web Manager to come to the Configuration tab and WLAN Interface tab. Here again is where you will be able to set your operating mode. So in the operating mode, we're gonna drop down to Access Point. We're going to give it a name that we're gonna broadcast. Again, for this example, we'll just go Justin Access Point. We wanna leave it on WPA2 PSK AES. So this again is WPA2 Security with a pre-shared key with AES encryption. And I'm going to change the default password um, to something a little more secure than um, to be changed or private or anything with typical uh, all letters. So um, you need to remember this because when you, when you want to con connect devices to your access point, you'll need to remember this password. Uh, what I like to do after I make those changes on any page is apply and save to make sure that those changes stay saved with the radio. So now I've configured um, my radio as an access point. Uh, and if you look at the LED on the W lane, you'll see it's gone blue. Again, when it's in access point mode, the W lane LED will always be blue. The next step is to set the uh, channel you want to work on. Uh, our devices work on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Before selecting your channel, it's always important to talk with any other people in your area that are using Wi-Fi to make sure that you're using frequencies that are free or not being used for um, mission critical applications. Uh, because you can cause interference when selecting frequencies that are already in use. Um, but for, the, for this example, again, you can use 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. I always like to use 5 gigahertz because it's usually less used and there's more channels that are um, isolated from each other. And you can also change the output power here. Since we're on a table, I'm just going to leave it at 5 dBm. And again, I've made some changes. I'm going to apply and save. So now, um, my radio is now set up for an access point. I'm broadcasting a network name of Justin's access point. I'm broadcasting that on a five gigahertz channel on channel 36. And if I look in my networks here, I should see Justin's access point pop up here shortly. Justin's access point. So now I could connect here and type in the password. Um, but the important thing here now is that we've set up an access point and it's by itself. Um, so if you have a phone or a tablet or a device that is looking for an IP address, so typically when your phone or your laptop connect to an access point, there is a DHCP server on a network somewhere which assigns your device an IP address. Right now, because our access point is isolated from all networks, there is no DHCP server. So if I were to connect a phone or a tablet, it will connect but it won't have access to anything because my phone, my tablet, my laptop is not getting an IP address. So in our radio, there is the ability to enable a DHCP server. Um, basically what this means is that when your device, your client device connects to our access point, our radio will hand out an IP address to that device. So if you click on this tab, it's saying it's, it's turned off right now, so I want to make it a server. And this initial screen is going to hand out IP addresses, turn on the DHCP server to anything that is connected to the ethernet port. So this screen right here is going to hand out IP addresses to devices that are connected via a wire to the back of the radio, not over the air. So this, if I configure it here, I'm still not going to get an IP address on my tablet. I need to turn on the DHCP server on the WLAN side. So here, again, I. I click on that, I get a pop-up. I'm now configuring the DHCP server for the wireless. So I'm going to create my pool start. So this is the IP addresses where I want my radio to start handing out IP addresses. How many IP addresses I want to hand out. The network mask that I want to hand out. And then if I, need a, if I need a gateway or a DNS, I can set that as well. I don't need this for this demo, so I'm going to apply and save. I'm going to now apply and save here. And you're now seeing that the DHCP server is now active. So if I were now to connect a device to my Justin's access point, I will now be handed out an IP address from my radio. 
And once I do that, you'll be able to see current DHCP leases. Right now, there's nothing connected to it, but you'll be able to see what IP address was leased, what the MAC address of the device that's connected to it, how long it's been connected, um, what access point it's connected to, and if it's running or not. So once you do that, once you set your mode to access point, give it a name, give it a password, um, set your channel and your frequency, uh, and enable a DHCP server if needed, your configuration is finished. <laughs>